the county is uh, looking to purchase um, one of the uh, Capital One buildings uh, on uh, Spotsylvania Avenue. Uh, it's 157,819 square foot uh, building located at 10300 Spotsylvania Avenue. Uh, we expect to use it for county offices uh, and governmental purposes. Uh, and in addition to that, we have some rehabilitation uh, to the existing county building uh, at Merchant Square, which is over on Old Battlefield Boulevard. Uh, and then finally, in addition to all of that, uh, working with our financial advisors, uh, we have a principal balance left from our 2014 bond issuance that perhaps we're going to roll over uh, to get better interest rates or to pay that off uh, with the bond issuance. So the authority for the resolution of the bond issuance is not to exceed $46 million. But that includes the purchase price uh, of the building, which is $17.5 million. Uh, additional funding for uh, rehabilitation on the Merchant Square building, as well as uh, some uh, rehabilitation that we'll need to do uh, in the Cap 1 building. Uh, there are existing leases in the Cap 1 building, uh, which we intend to honor. Uh, and we want to keep those tenants uh, in the building. So if any of those are listening, uh, you know, we want to keep those uh, leases intact and intend to uh, uh, continue to lease out the space uh, that is currently leased out. So that's kind of a recap of, of what uh, our plans are. Uh, several county departments will be phased uh, out of uh, existing locations uh, and move there in phases. Um, so um, that's that's pretty much it in a nutshell. So I know, Ed, just a little bit of background. The you all administration have, have been looking diligently at space for, for county staff and personnel. And as we all know, a lot of our county buildings are aging. Um, I believe this is probably one of the most cost efficient ways when you look at the square footage that office space and everything like that. I mean, we are saving the taxpayer a lot of money by being able to find something like this and work out, I mean, what I would feel is a fairly decent deal rather than having to build something completely brand new. Am I tracking that right? Uh, absolutely. We looked at uh, several models. Uh, we looked at building a new building uh, and cost estimates for building a building uh, at approximately 45,000 square feet for a new building. Uh, was uh, in the neighborhood of $20 million. So this is 157,819 square feet uh, of available office space uh, for $17.5 million. Uh, so we looked at several options, uh, which included uh, other lease space uh, and uh, purchasing existing space or building new buildings. Uh, and this by far is the most cost-effective way to uh, address our space needs, uh, I would say, for the next 15 years at least, uh, and be able to keep the tenants that we have in the building, uh, which gives us some revenue uh, to help pay off some of the borrowing um, and meet uh, our, our space needs uh, into the future. No, thank you, Ed. I, I, I just personally want to bring that up. It's a big purchase, a big expenditure of our taxpayer dollars, and I just wanted to make sure the public had all the information on this uh, and it didn't get brought up that you know it came through on the consent agenda that we were able to talk about this and yep Mr. Yakbowski. Yeah, no th thank you for bringing this up and, and I, I'm sorry to spring this on the county administrator but are there any departments that are going to be moving over there that the public uses that um, we can start announcing to them so that they understand because I would assume that people are listening now that they realize that we're county is they're purchasing the building so um we, we do have a plan, but I would prefer not to. Uh, okay, but shortly we will. We're still, yeah, but it's, uh, once we finalize our phase one move in, okay. uh, then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll let people know. So I, I would say to the public, just keep on the lookout, and we'll do our job of getting the information out there just so you don't drive all the way to where you think uh, a place is and it's not there anymore. Yeah, that, yeah. that's correct. And, and again, uh, there is some uh, work that needs to be done before uh, we can move county offices there. Right. Uh, so um, the other thing to note is that the board did 
uh, at its uh, previous, not the last meeting, but the meeting before that, uh, approve a lease uh, for the voter registrar to hold early voting in that building. Uh, so we at least know that early voting will be held uh, in that building. Um, so that's, that's one uh, county use already in that building. Okay, and that's just for the public to know, that's early voting this year will be held in that in, in the Capital One building and it's the building as your face, the Capital One, it used to be Capital One, the building to the right. That's correct. So that will be where early voting will be. So that, you don't go correct. to the current registrar office, you don't go to the last place, you don't go to the last place before that. This is the place that you're going to go because I want people to know ahead of time that that's, that's where it is. That's correct. Okay. And those plans are being finalized. Yes, sir. Thank you. And I would just note that that location change is uh, being submitted to the Attorney General's as part of the required process, um, but we don't expect there to be any issues. So just wanted to make that small caveat. Right. <laughs> Mr. Mellons. Did you, did you have a comment? Well, I, I just wanted to share, I thought it was uh, good news that due to the tenants, we we're actually able to cover the cost of the debt service in the first year in its entirety. So we're not going to have any, uh, having to find any money for FY25 to make this move. Now in the future, there is going to be, I would say, a, a moderate need, I would say between two hundred and four hundred thousand dollars um, and $400,000 that we would need to find in FY26 for the uh, debt service. We have uh, about 30, uh, I'm sorry, 33%, uh, yes, is open space that we'll be able to use. The rest of it is by long-term tenants. I mean, some of these are going out until 2030 on their leases. And so it'll be nice as these people, you know, decide to exit, then we can phase other people over into that building. Um, so it's, it's definitely a, a strong, uh, smart fiscal move um, to do this instead of trying to build a building and have that entire debt service for that building uh, coming down to the taxpayers. Absolutely. That's great information. All right. Hey, thank you, Becky. Yeah. I appreciate that. Thank you so much, Becky. Thank you, Ed. Thank you for explaining that, Ed. I just want the public to be aware of, uh, I think it was a very good thing that that you all did looking at some of the ways that we can save save the county some money but also get us some updated uh, office space and expansion in the future. So